Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Fine. You? Thank you. Great. I'm well. Thank you. Let me see. Luz Marina. Good evening. Luz Marina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I find me. Great. How was your day? Uh, oh. Was just good. Okay, fine. And how about the platform, Luz? Have you been working on it? Mm, tengo un poco de dificultad en la sección. Section four. So what happened? Do you have any questions? Oh, el momento que ha dado sentido la señal. Sorry. Well, excuse me. Can you all turn off your microphones except Luz Marina, please? Because there is much background noise. Okay, so Luz Marina, sorry, I couldn't get that. Do you have any questions about section four? Hola. Hi. Do you have any Hi. questions about section four? Sí, eh, en, en, las, en, las, en las oraciones. Tengo dificultad porque en el momento que usted explicó se me ha ido siempre la señal. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. So you refer to the simple past. Uh -huh. Ok, so we are going to talk about it today. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about regular and irregular verbs and how to make uh, positive statements, positive sentences. So I'll explain it today. And if you still have questions, remember you can reach me through the WhatsApp, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Let me see, Mayra Villorio. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Lord Gore. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, always busy. Yes. All right. And how about the platform, Maida? I can't remember. Have I you finished? finished You're done, right? I okay. In the platform. Yes. Okay. Fine. Let me see, Hi. Luis Alonso. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Um, my day is, it was tired, teacher. Oh, it was tiring. Okay. Did you have a lot of work? Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. So what do you do, Luis? Sorry, teacher. What do you do? A que se dedica? Uh, uh, production manager. Oh, production manager. manager. Production. Okay. All right. Interesting. Production manager. Uh -huh. Production manager. All right. Interesting. That's good. Yes. And how about the platform, Luis? Have you <laughs> been you. working on it? Uh, for the. Uh, um, Beginning to begin, uh, four lesson, uh, 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 module section four. Section okay. four, yes, teacher. All right, that's fine. Just remember you have to complete it uh, on this week, so you should keep go working on that, okay? Yes, yes teacher. All right. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, see? Okay. Great. Let's 
see Oscar oh, Ortega. Don't, no, don't remember. Five. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Oscar Ortega, good evening. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. How are you? Uh, great. Okay, good. How was your day? How was your day? Uh, very good. You had a good one. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, and the platform, what? Oscar. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where I finish it. At the... You're done with the platform. Okay, great. Great. Let's see, Marvin Joseph. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm well, and you? I'm fine. Okay, it's good. So tired, it's good. All right. How was I'm your day? For the English class. Nice. That's great. And how about the platform, Marvin? Have you finished? Mm, no, teacher. Not yet? I, what I section start, are you in? Five. Oh, you're starting number five. That's this awesome. This week, I, I finished. Perfect. I finish. OK. Manuel Aristides, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, I feel a um, little sick. Oh, really? But today, test the COVID. Oh, no, I it's hope a, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my work, uh, my work, <laughs> and uh, it's closed for, for oh. uh, cases of COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I hope you, will, you feel better soon. Yeah, yeah, pero... No sé, el sábado me dan la respuesta, no sé. Me siento un poco, un poco mal y eso, pero no sé si es o no es. Ok, mm -hmm. so I hope you you feel better soon. Thank you. Ok, all right, so we are going to start by taking attendance as we always do. Let me see. Today is the third. All right, so let me see Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. Good, Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Okay, Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Julia Maritza. Julia Maritza Bautista. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Karen. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie Arqueta. Carla Iris Martinez. Carla Iris. Carla Vanessa González. Present teacher. Ok. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Good. Crisia Magdalena. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alonso. Present teacher. Ok. Luis Carlos. <coughs> Luis Carlos Guevara Luz Marina Hernández Present. You. Mayra Lorena Portillo Present teacher Thank you Mayra Present. Manuel Aristides Present teacher Thanks Marco Antonio Marco Antonio Ramírez, María del Carmen, Present teacher. Ok, María José Abrego, Present teacher, Good, María José Martínez, 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marlene Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Okay, Marlene, I mean, eh, Marta Lilian. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Roxana. Present, teacher. Okay. Melissa Arely. Present. Good. Melvin Antonio. Present. Okay. Milagro Elizabeth. Milagro Elizabeth. Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. All right. And Jose Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. So let's start with today's class then. And today we're talking about the, the sentences with with a simple past. I mean, we are studying the affirmative form, right? So you may know that we have a two groups of verbs, right? The first one is the regular verbs and we also got some irregular verbs. So what are they? Well, let's talk about the regular verbs first. It, the simple past for the regular verbs is made by following the general rule of only adding ed to the verb. So what you would do is to change the verb in this way. Let me, let me make it bigger. Give me a second. You would go, for example, from watch to watched by only adding ed. That would be the past form. And let me write it. Okay, so here you add ed to the verb and you get watched, watched. So that is the general rule, right? Add ed. But then we also have some different cases, some different kinds of verbs. We have for verbs that end in E, we would only add D. So it is not necessary to double the E or to add another E, we just add D. And for example, in this case, we get exercised. So in that case, you only add, I mean D. You only add the D. And uh, here, in the case of study, we need to change something. It becomes studied, studied. So there you have to change the Y for an I. And at E, E, D. So that's how it goes. You see how the infinitive is written with Y, but the past form goes with I. And then for the verb stay, we have a, a different, yes, we only have ED, right? Stayed. So what would be the difference between study and stay? I mean, both of them and in Y. But why do we change the Y in study and not in stay? Do you know why? Uh, study. Mm -hmm. uh, antes de la Y está una consonante. Y yeah, en stay, right. antes de la Y está una vocal. We have a vowel. That's right. So that's why if you have a consonant just before the Y, you would make this change. If not, just add ED. Then we also have verbs like shop, which 
take a double consonant, so they become shut, for instance. So here you need to double the last consonant. And at ED. So those will be the rules we have. Right? Yeah, right. Um, generally, we add ED to the most of the verbs. Then for verbs ending in E, we only add D. For verbs ending in consonant plus Y, we change the Y for an I and we add ED. Then if we have vowel plus Y, we just add ED. And some verbs such as shop take a double consonant in ED. Now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, please. Watch. 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 Watched. 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 That at the end makes the difference. So try to pronounce it. Watched. 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 Exercise. 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 Study. 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 Studied. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. So that is what we have for the regular verbs. Now I have a list of regular verbs that I need you to change into the past form. So I'm sending you to the breakup rooms and giving you a couple of minutes to work on this. You complete the, the verbs, you complete the list by writing the forms in the simple past. For example, for walk, what would be the, the past form? Okay. Walk. Okay. Yes, okay. we would have walked. Walk. Then for cook? Cook. 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 Okay, cook. so cook. I need you to complete this list. Let me send you to the breakout rooms for a moment so you work on this. And then we come back and check and I'm also sending you the picture through the chat, okay? The WhatsApp chat. Um, okay, here we go. Teacher, no he enviado la imagen al WhatsApp. Yes, I just sent it. Okay. When you got in it. Oh, I see. Did you get it? Okay. Yes, I got it. All right. I send. I. Voy a compartir en el grupo para que la estemos viendo todas. You'll share it, okay? Ok, ahí está. La primera ya la tenemos. Guarda. 
Work. They cook. Work. Is cook. Ed. ¿Cómo sería? Visible. Visible. No sería. Visible. The cook. Ed, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. e Ed. El visit. Terminación Ed. Ed, ajá. Uh -huh. Sería visible. ¿Cómo me sería visible? Visible. Eh, creo que sería alguien que comparta de la regla, creería yo que va ED. ED, sí. Uh -huh. Start. ED, start. 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 Finish. 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 Digamos ED. 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 Ok. Y de. Leave it. Solo la de. Eh, solo la de. Del pasado. Vamos a ver. Pero ¿qué dice la regla? Es que la regla es agregarle ED. Pero como sí, aquí... creo que. Solo sí, se pero, pero, no se les, pero hay caso, por ejemplo, que termina en, en vocal. In, if you have a verb that ends in E, you only add D. Si el verbo termina en E, solo se le agrega la D. Uh -huh. Eso lo de, ok. Cuando se cambia vocal es cuando termina con Y. Le pone la I latina y... Y le ponemos lo demás. ¿Ed? Vamos a llegar a cry. 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 Y latina. Y le agrega. Sí. Sí. Ahí está. Stay. Igual. Igual con la ed al final. Stop. Le ponemos la doble. Pero. Sí, hay que darle la P, E y D. Ajá. Ajá. P, E, D. Ajá, doble P. Y la plan. Plan, igual. Plan. Se le agrega la E, D. La doble N. Doble N. Doble N. E, D. E, D. Ajá, la N. Sí, la F. Uy, esta... Preferred. Esa es la ED. Sí. sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Y... No. Esa teníamos que ponerle la... La, la doble E. Ajá. Y la ED. Y la ED, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Vaya, walking uh -huh. could be start, finish, like, could be close, uh, review, dancing. Cry que es... Llorar. ¿Qué es llorar. Llorar. Sí. Uh -huh. llorar. You're right. Yes. Sí. You try. Eso sí, no sé. Try and es... intentar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Intentar, or it could also mean probar in some cases. Ah, ok. Thank uh -huh. you. Y teacher, y la última, la última, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ya, 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 And you finished, right? Yes. yes. All right, we're getting out of the rooms now. See you in the main class. Casi terminábamos. You didn't finish? 
Uh oh. Nos quedamos. Oh, okay, but don't worry. We are going to review all the verbs right now. So we check and continue practicing. Sí. Okay. So let me see here. Okay, so we have the first verb, which is walk. Walk. Then the next one, what do I add to cook? Cook. What do I add? Cook it. ED. 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 Yes, it takes ED. ED. Visit. Visit. ED. Visit. ED. You need ED. 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 Start. 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 Started. 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 Okay, finish. 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 ED. Yes, it takes ED again. Then we have live. 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 Solo live. Live. We only add D. Live. Live. Okay. Next one is like. 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 So like. Only, only D. Like. like. It takes only a D. Then we have close. 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 In case. Arrive. 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 Arrived. Dance. 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 Okay. Mm, cry. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how do you spell cried? E e C R A I E D. A E D. I. E D. I. E D. I. E D. Okay. Good. So there you have to make that change and try. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. Then we have play. 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 Okay. Enjoy. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Stay. 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 Stop. 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 Here you have to double the concept. Double P. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And in the case of plan, what do we do? N N N N E D. Okay. Prefer. Double double R. Double R. Double R plus E D. Yes. Prefer. Okay, and in the case of ya, very well. Do you understand? Es empujoncito, verdad? Ya means trotar. Okay, thank you. Lo traduce como empujoncito. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, but. No, we usually use it for like making exercise, jogging. Okay. No sabía cuál era el pasado. Ah, como salir. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's not running. No, it is not running. It's slower than running. Trotando, trotando. Trotar. That's what it means. Okay. Tell me. Este, no recuerdo en qué momento y que se, en qué, en qué verbo se tiene que. Duplicar la, la consonante al final. ¿En cuál es la regla? Well, there is not a specific rule, but um, normally we say that we double the last consonant if we have consonant, vowel, consonant, and only it only applies for short words, short verbs. Like mm. most of them are one syllable, like plan and yog, stop, they're one syllable. And they go consonant, vowel, consonant. Same for plan, consonant, vowel, consonant. Teacher, and... Teacher, y por ejemplo, en preferir, ahí es vocal, ah, sí, verdad, consonant. Yeah, we got consonant, vowel, consonant at the end. Okay, yeah. y esa tenía duda yo. Yes, so there are a couple of verbs that take double consonant, but there are not many. So I would say these are the most common ones. There are not many. 
Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, please. What? 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 Visited. Started. 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 Finished. 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 Lived. 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 Liked. Liked. Closed. Closed. Arrived. Arrived. Danced. 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 That at the end, danced. 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 Cried. 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 Tried. 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 Carried. 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 Played. Played. Enjoyed. 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 Stayed. 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 Stopped. 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 Planned. 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 Preferred. 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 Yogged. Yogged. Uh, okay. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning of any of the words? I have a question. Tell me. Can we? Um, bueno, yo quisiera que me explicara en español porque en inglés no lo entendí mucho cuando duplicar la consonante. Ah, sí, les decía que normalmente son verbos de una sílaba, aunque sí tenemos, por ejemplo, prefer, que es dos, de dos sílabas, y eh, siguen la combinación consonant, vowel, consonant, consonante, vocal, consonante. Same goes for plan. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Tenemos lo mismo acá y acá. En, ese, en esos casos es que vamos a duplicar, pero también les mencionaba ah. que no son muchos los verbos que siguen esta regla. Uh -huh. Yo diría que estos son como los más comunes. Son realmente pocos. No hay muchos que, que se duplican. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. All right, so let's continue. Stand by Teacher, talking about. Pues, tell me. En la en la última con el pasado eh, tiene que hacer la pronunciación. Así como que este. Yes. Well, we have three different kinds of pronunciation. We're going to talk about them in a minute, but um, just to mention them, we got verbs that end in d, like loved, loved. We got verbs that end in id, like visited, visited. And we got verbs that end in t, like what, what. So it's three different kinds of pronunciation, three different sounds they could have. And yeah, we are going to practice that in a moment. Okay. So now let's continue by talking about the simple past affirmative sentences, how to make them. Well, first of all, let's take a look at this example of a simple present sentence. We have, I work every day. And you know that for the simple present, we change the verbs in the third person. We add S and we get, she works every day. Then we get to the past. And the good news is that you use the same form of the verb for all the subjects. So you would get, for example, I worked hard last week. She worked hard last week. So as you see here, we do not change the verb, but here we have to add ED, right? To make it past. And then the structure that we follow is pretty simple. We have a subject. Then the verb ending in ed and the complement. So here in the affirmative sentences, we always have to change the form of the verb. If the verb is regular, we add ed. If the verb is regular, we are going to mention that in a moment, but remember that, that it changes. 
So uh, we have some examples. We wanted some French fries. He washed the dishes last night. You arrived at eight. So that is how we make sentences in the simple past. Um, any questions about it? No? Okay, let me continue then. And we're going to skip that because of the time. All right, so now let's get to the pronunciation. As I mentioned before, we have three different kinds of pronunciation. We got the d sound, as in enjoyed, enjoyed, or planned, planned. That d, enjoyed, enjoyed, planned, planned. Then we also have that at the end, as in finished, finished, or fixed, fixed. And we have a third kind of pronunciation or a third sound, which is id, started, painted. So let's try to practice them. Everybody repeat, d. Try to make the sound, d. Like, okay, now say enjoyed. 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 Planned. 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 Okay, and then we have the sound. Try to make it, please. Finished. 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 Fixed. Fixed. Okay. And the third sound is id. 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 Started. Started. Painted. 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 Okay. So let me go to the platform so we can listen to the explanation that Mr. Science gives us about this. Because there are some clues in order to, to know which sound the, each of the verbs takes. So let's listen to this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when pronounced in simple past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. What verbs end in d? Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, watch, turn. turn. Watch, watch, turn. turn. Watch, watch, turn. 
Um, Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked. Helped. Watched. Looked. Watched. What? Laughed. What? Breathed. Laughed. Kissed. Breathed. Danced. Kissed. Fixed. Danced. Okay, let's Fixed. repeat them. Everybody repeat after me, please. Helped. Look. 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 Washed. Washed. Watched. Watched. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathed. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, Cold. offered, Cold. damage, loved, Cold. used, followed, used. enjoyed, Cold. amazed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Okay, let's practice those. Repeat, please. Called. Cold. 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 Cleaned. Cleaned. Offered. 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 Good. Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Used. Used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. 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 Okay. 
So that is what we have regarding the pronunciation of the, the regular past verbs. So the best thing to do is to keep practicing them. I mean, it is not necessary to learn all these rules, but it is important that you know them. And well, the, the key is the practice. So as far as you can keep practicing, you'll get it. And then, oh, give me a second, please. I'll get back to the presentation. So we talk about the irregular verbs. So by now we have talked about the regular verbs, which is the first group we have, but then we also have a second group, which is irregular verbs. And in the case of the irregular verbs, we do not have any specific rule. They just change. In the past, some of them change to something really different. Some of them change just a little bit, like one letter can change. Some of them are even the same as the present form, but pronounced differently or so. So there are many different cases. The only way to learn them is by heart, memorizing them, practicing them. So we have some examples here. We got do, which becomes did. We also have get up which becomes got up, got up, go becomes went, meet, went. met, meet, come, meet. came, come, have, came. had. Now oh. let's repeat them, everybody. Do, did. Do, did. Do, did. Do, did. Get up, got up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Go, Went. Go, Go went. Meet, met. Meet, meet, met. 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 Come, came. Come, came. 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 Have, had. Have, had. Okay. And then here we have a list of irregular verbs for us to complete with the past forms. So let's do it. Um, the first one, begin. What's the past form? In beginning. Doubly, doubly and begun. Ed. Yeah, it is begun. Begin, begun. Yeah, do you understand the meaning of begin? Begin. Yes. It's... It's a synonym to start. Okay, so the past is begun. Now, yeah. what's the past for break? Broke. 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 Okay, build becomes build. Build. Built. By. Built. Out. Buck. Out. Catch. Cut. 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 Choose. Choose. Shows. Shows. Cut. 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 Draw. Draw. Drew. 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 Drink. Drew. Drew. Drunk. 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 Drive. Drop. Drop. Fall. 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 Find, found, 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 forget, forgot, 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 gave, 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 gave. here, heard, heard, no, new, new, lose, lost, lost. Lost. Pay. Paid. 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 Read. 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 Ride. Road. Road. Run. 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 Pay. Save. 
Bad. So. So. Sing. So. What's the past of sing? Sounds. Speak. Spoke. Spoke. Swim. Swam. 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 Tell. 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 Think. What's the pass of think? Tell. Thought. Write. Brought. Understand. Understood. Understood. Very well. Now let's let's repeat them. Begin. Begun. Begin. Begin. Begun. Break. Broke. Break. Broke. Broke. Build. Built. Build. Build. Buy. Bought. Buy. Bought. Catch. Cut. Catch. Cut. Choose chose. Choose chose. chose. Cut cut. Cut, cut, cut. cut cut. Draw drew. Draw drew. Drink drank. Drink, drink drank. Drank. Drive drop. Drive drop. Fall fell. Feel felt. Feel felt. Find found. Find found. Forget forgot. Forget Give gave. Give Hear haired. No new. No new. Lose lust. Lose lust. Pay paid. Pay paid. Read read. Read read. Ride road. Ride road. Run, 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 run. Say, said, say, 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 said, 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 say, said, say, said, say, said, said, see, saw, see, saw, see, saw. sing, sang. Speak, spoke. Speak, 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 spoke. Swim, swam. Swim, swim, swam. Tell, told. Tell, tell, told. Tell, tell, told. Think, thought. Think, think thought. 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 Right, grot. Right, grot. Understand, understood. Understand, understood. All right, very well. So those are the forms for the irregular verbs, right? So you see how they change from the present to the past. And then they are used in the same way um, as the irregular verbs to make the, the sentences, right? You just follow the same structure. You have a subject, then a verb in the past, and then the complement. So you would have sentences such as, I forgot my keys. I thought you were here. Um, the class began late, or we drank a bottle of milk. And what else? We spoke in English in the class. That's how you make sentences using this. Um, now I have a little practice. 
I'm going to let you complete it. I want you to make sentences only. Um, I want you to make the sentences and meanwhile, I'll be taking attendance. So we take advantage of the time. So I'll be sharing that, but um, oh, I don't know if I can keep sharing and go to another screen, maybe. Let me see, yes. Okay, there we go. So please everybody turn off your microphones so you can listen to me when I call your name. Turn off your microphones, everyone. Okay, meanwhile, you complete the exercise, please. And we'll check it in a moment. Okay, Ingrid Carolina. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Asiria. Jocelyn Asiria. Okay. Joanna Raquel. Present teacher. All right. Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Present. Good. Karen Elizabeth Calderón. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Stephanie Argueta. Carla Iris Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla Vanessa Gonzalez. Present. All right. Katia Lisbeth. Present. Okay, Crisia Magdalena. Okay, Luis Alberto Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Okay. Luis Carlos Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Present Mayra Lorena teacher. Portillo. Present teacher. That is Mayra. Mayra, sí. Okay, thanks. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio Ramírez. Okay, María del Carmen. María del Carmen Present. Jorge. Ok. María José Ábrego. Present teacher. María José Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Present teacher. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, Melissa Arely. Present. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina Mengiba. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. And Jose Atilio Flores. Jose Atilio is not here. Okay. All right. Did you complete the exercise? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we are going to check it pretty quickly. Well, let me go back to the presentation. Here, so tell me, what is the sentence number one? You, you, ate, you ate cookies, cookies yesterday. yesterday. You ate cookies yesterday. Next one, they? 
They, they drink, drink this morning. They drank. Yes, they drank this morning. They drank milk this morning. Next one. I traveled last year. Next. We, we, we went, went to the beach, beach, beach last month. month. We went to the beach last month. Next one. I knew clothes last week. 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 Last Marta and Lucy did exercise yesterday. I Which? practiced English last weekend. Um, okay, so the only thing we're missing is the screenshots. So I'll ask um, everybody to turn on their camera uh, and we can get them and we go to sleep. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, let me take the first one now. Right, second one. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. And um, thanks everybody for participating. And let me just remind you that you have to continue working in the platform. Remember, next week is our last week of the course. So you should uh, complete as much as, or uh, I mean, work as much as you can in the platform so you do not have any trouble with the grades and approving the course. So if you have any questions, need any help, just write to me on the WhatsApp uh, group and I'll help you. So that will be all. Take care, have a good night and a nice weekend too. See you on Thank Monday. You bye. 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 Bye.